Alrighty guys, uh, welcome back to another uh, flea market stroke um, car boot sale tool haul. This is all the stuff I got today and I think I spent £4 I think, £4 in total. Um, one of the first things I picked up was this uh, little small pair of pliers here. These are just marked as foreign and that's it really. They don't seem to be in too bad a condition. Nicely polished already, probably a bit filthy though. Um, I don't know how good the uh, cutters are just yet. Don't look too bad a condition though, do they guys, really? Uh, 20 pence for those. I say they are marked as um, foreign, just there. Probably can't see that, but that's where it is marked as foreign. Just stamped in there. Uh, what else did I get? Um, whatever the hell this is, I don't know. Um, cost me a pound. It's got like a, uh, as you can see, like a little collet chuck style thing on the end here. And it's got a few tools inside it. Um, the interesting thing about this, what attracted me to it, is um, whoever owned it previously lost the original cap and they've used this uh, bit of an old light fitting here. As you can see, a little old, like, almost baker like light fitting because it fits on there quite nicely. Look, I think that's very clever of whoever it was. And we have a few tools in there. I mean, what it was used for, no idea really. Perhaps if some of you guys out there know, you perhaps you'd be kind enough to let me know exactly what it was all about. This lot here, three for a pound. Um, first of all I got this Vono patented um, bedstead fittings, it says just there. You can see it just looks like it's been uh, cast I guess. And I would imagine it's for uh, like fixing it, Victorian beds or something. Vono, Vond, Vond or Vono. I'm thinking it's Vono myself. Um, got some um, interesting duckbill. A bit stiff. I had to really force these apart when I first took a look at them. Duckbill pliers. Don't know how old these are. Don't think there's any markings on them either as yet. Not really had a good look at them just yet. Don't think there's any markings on them so far. Lord alone knows what this thing was used for. I haven't a clue. It just looked interesting. Some sort of um, saw. Uh, if any of you guys out there know exactly what it was used for, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be interested to find out. Say, so, haven't a clue what it was for. Moving over to another stall, I managed to pick this lot up for, have a guess, 60 pence. So that's 20 pence each. So let's have a look what we've got here first of all. Well, first of all, we have this set of Elliot Lucas Elect uh, long nose pliers. As you can see they've been modified for a job. They've had the tips ground out just there. And we have this um, screw put in here so you can set the uh, distance they will close up. And it's a, um, an Allen screw as you can see, hex screw in there. As I say, so, so we can uh, adjust it so it only opens and closes so far, look. So what that was used for I have no idea but that's a uh, I don't know where it came from, who had it, or whatever, but um, yeah, that's that's been uh, they've been modified for a job. Quite interesting. Twenty pence. Um, let's have a look. Oh yes, so a small pair of uh, Bernard pliers. I don't know how how long they are just yet, but I'll put the length just here for you to have a look at. A little small pair of Bernards. I think they've been well worn by the looks of it, because the jaws don't exactly close up 100% by the looks of things, but they're the ones with the side cutters on the top and it does actually say, uh, let's have a look, yeah, Bernard on the handle just here, you can maybe just make that out guys quite pleased with those, again 20 pence, quite nice, I like those ones uh, and what we have here um, is a smaller little adjustable, again 20 pence now, interestingly, this one too is also marked as war finish on here um, I don't know the uh, manufacturer's name just yet, but it looks like we have the uh, little government arrow just here too. Uh, we have a number on here, number, um, one moment guys, I think it's number number 91 I think we have here. What I'll do is I'll put your little photograph in so you can see it. Um, these work quite nicely too, they're going to need a bit of a cleaning up. So war finish I'm going to say maybe from... Um, what 1939 to 1945 possibly maybe even earlier than that I don't know could be a uh, World War One 
Um, so we do have war finish just there. Some somebody's held this in the vice at some point to do something with. Um, it still works. Very nice. I say I'm quite pleased with this lot uh, for sixty pence. And I got these from another one of my favourite stalls. I think I've shown you this one at the top of the uh, video already. Don't know how good the uh, cutting blades are on here. I wonder if I've got a bit of a bit of copper wire we can try maybe. Yeah, got a little bit of a 2.5 mil twin and earth here. A bit of copper. Let's try it. Oh yeah, not quite so well down that end of things, but um, yeah, not too bad at all, guys. Huh. As I say, from the same stall, I managed to get these uh, little forceps. I've got quite a few pairs of forceps now. Quite useful things to have about because you can get out of something and um, clip them on, and they will hold it. Uh, ideal. Next time you, uh, you know, you're putting a suture into your finger or something, but um, yeah, quite handy little things. So I've got about, I think I've got about three pairs of these now. All right then, guys. So uh, today's tool haul then. Um, some very interesting stuff. Quite pleased with these little small Bernards here. I say they might look like they're a bit worn, but um, other than that, I'm quite pleased with them, especially for twenty pence. Hey. Uh, 20 pence for those. Lord alone knows what this is all about. If you know, please let me know. Um, don't know what this was used for either. Please let me know once again. Really pleased with this um, war finish again. And so it looks like it's got some government markings on it. And then we have a uh, specially modified pair of Elliot Lucas pliers here. Um, a little bedstead tool. Obviously, for doing somebody's bed up at some point or another in the passing, I guess. So um, there we go, then, guys. I hope you enjoyed the. Uh, today's tool haul from the flea market stroke car boot sale quite pleased with this lot I think the total spend today was about four pounds I think something like that four or five pounds anyway thanks for watching guys thanks for popping over to uh, Rathbone Manor once again and I will catch you later